on the question of you know existential risk and where air safety comes into play. Yeah, my theory of existential risk is as such: um, existential risk is failure to coordinate at the face of a growing risk. In order to coordinate, what we need is shared world models. What we need is shared understanding of how my projection of actions that we could take differ from your projections. And in that gap, seeing if our risk tolerances are aligned, if so, then maybe there is something shared that we can do. This requires us to lay out that. incentives clearly. This requires us to lay out our knowledge explicitly on what is likely to happen. We live in a world with, you know, corporate incentives, legal incentives, capitalist incentives to the point that there are so many layers that are blocking us. What I am excited about is providing a level of epistemic clarity where we are actually talking about mapping the future. What is most likely to happen? Using these questions as shared building blocks, I believe actually gives us a capability to be able to predict what are likely disasters. The mission we have is how can we use this for betterment of humanity? How can we use this to reduce different risks that are escalating? Or questions like, when will transformative AI arrive? There are so many subparts to these questions. You require a lot more granular breaking down. It's not like, when will AGI arrive? Or um, what does AGI even mean? What we have at Metacus is a lot of people who are passionate about the topic, who are domain experts in these questions that actually come up with very specific fine-grained resolution criteria. And on top of this, what we do is figure out what are interesting short-term proxies. Like instead of trying to forecast job loss in say like 2040, can we see patterns of this that are mirroring in a much shorter time scale, like 2030 by even next year? Like will job loss in Philippines and Pakistan on call centers is that a good enough short-term proxy for understanding how thought work in the long Oof. run will have an impact? Yeah. So what we do is break down these very large, very nebulous questions that has exactly how you said, you know, many different perspectives, people pulling in all different directions to say, okay, let's go look at something very specific and something with a very clear resolution criteria, meaning we will be able to figure out is this correct or not. If an artificial intelligence catastrophe occurs, Will it reduce the human population by 95% or more? That's the, yeah. that is the question. Um, okay. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to cover right. my eyes for this answer. <laughs> right. Um, this also sheds lights to a different avenue of reactions towards AI driven existential risk that I often find frustrating where people are like concerned about extinction to the point where they feel like they run out of supposed to be concerned about anything. That is less than extinction. I think, I, yeah, go ahead. No, please go ahead. This is a great question. I love talking. This is a, I think about this a lot. I think there is a lot of problems that we're already experiencing that started from AI. None of these are posing an AI opposing right now an existential threat to humanity as is, but there are communities that are suffering from this financially. There will be large scale job displays. There, in fact, has already been a level of job displacement. Yeah. Now, um, there is a way to contemplate existential risk as a phenomenon in the future to the point that, you know, we should be prepared for what is coming next as opposed to look at, hey, what is happening right now? Uh, How do you think the, um, the field of AI safety employs the forecasts to better the field? Like, how, you know, what... How do people take what you're making and then make it even more impactful? I think a lot of strategy is downstream from forecasting. And Metaculus itself has played a critical role on this front by bringing front and center some of the hard questions, but also having them be discussed in a level of rigor that is not getting lost in, you know, oh, person A, you know, gives a talk, person B gives a podcast, there's a write-up. No, here is a numeric thing that can continuously aggregate information. Currently, we are in collaboration with CDC on continuing forecasts on you know, COVID and monkeypox. And these are all coming in from um, being able to help gather expert opinions to the point that someone can take this and, and turn this into action. 